Hi everyone, Jana is here and you're watching another video from the Pinterest inspired video series. So for today's card, I found an image of fathers of, of Pinterest and I found it very inspiring. It made me think about the stamp kissing technique. So, uh, and this is actually what I'm going to be using for today's card. I'm going to be creating a one layer card with a, with a kissed and stamped image. So for my project, I picked out a few supplies. Uh, some of those are the uh, stamps that I made myself uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago. I have a video on that in case you missed it. I also have some um, inks from Clear Snap. All of those are pigment inks. And I will mostly be using some browns and uh, pinks and some uh, earth tone colors, more muted and natural looking tones. I also have a, a large uh, background stamp from Hero Arts that I forgot to mention. It's a tweed pattern. And for my sentiment, I'm going to be using a stamp from Mama Elephant. And this is a little thank you stamp. Now, I, I also have some cleaning supplies here. Uh, I have a cleaning pad from uh, S uh, Clear Snap. Uh, but in case you don't have anything to clean your stamps with, uh, you can use some water and just uh, some paper towel because if you if you are going to be using the pigment inks from Clear Snap because they are water based and they can be easily cleaned with water. So uh, what I have here is I already have a card base which is about four and a quarter by five and a half, and I've uh, placed it on my cutting mat uh, and I made sure to align it with the grid on my mat and I secured it at the top over there with a bit of uh, washi tape to make sure it stays in place and doesn't shift uh, while I'm stamping. <coughs> so I've started out with my largest stamp and uh, I inked it up a bit with um, uh, with clear snap pigment ink and now I'm moving uh, to my other stamp so I'm lightly inking those and I'm just stamping them, uh, flipping them up and down and sort of like uh, changing the direction of a stamp on my uh, card front. So I have three different stamps and I'm just alternating uh, the way they look, the way, the, the, uh, the way they face. Some of them face up and then some of them face down. Now for this last six uh, impression, I decided not to make it, but leave uh, the area empty and instead only have the kissed image there. So for the kissing technique, I have this large background stamp from Hero Arts. It's a tweed pattern stamp and I really like it. It's one of my favorite and I've been using it quite a lot for different techniques on my blog and if you check out my other videos, I'm sure you can find some. And so I've inked it up with the Espresso Pigment Ink from Clear Snap and now I'm taking my uh, feather stamp and I'm pressing it onto the Hero Arts background stamp. So I'm kissing the stamps together. And uh, notice that I uh, didn't clean the stamp. I actually, I, I did have the cleaning supplies, but I didn't clean <coughs> the stamp in between stamping. So I did have a little bit of ink uh, left over from that solid stamping I did before. And I did, it, did, it, did not clean it. So I inked the stamp once. I stamped it with a solid, uh, to create a solid impression. I then kissed the stamp uh, with a Hero Arts uh, background stamp uh, to create uh, a pattern impression. And then once again, I didn't clean it and I kissed it again to create even a more uh, intricate uh, pattern, I guess. And then I stamped it again. And that's what I'm doing with all of my stamps. I'm not cleaning any of them. I'm uh, stamping, then kissing, kissing again, and stamping them onto my paper. So here I have all of my feathers stamped, and I really like how that looks. That really follows that um, image that I was inspired by, uh, the image of feathers I found on Pinterest. And uh, now to finish the card, I used this little thank you uh, sentiment from Mama Elephant, and I stamped it down at the bottom. I also decided to add some stitching, so I did that on my sewing machine, and now I'm just adding a bit of jams and pearls from Hero Arts to finish my card. So here's the look at the finished card, and uh, I did have the stitching show up on the inside, but it didn't bother me, and uh, uh, I did use a black thread for the inside, and I think it just made it look a little bit more interesting. So here's another uh, 
way of doing this. Uh, this is going to be the exact same card, well, slightly different card with the exact same supplies. But I wanted to show you uh, this uh, once again. And uh, this time, uh, point out that I didn't ink the stamp completely. So I was only going uh, for an inked edge of the stamp. So I was trying to ink only the edges of my solid stamps so that I would have a, a darker outline and then a lighter uh, inside of the stamp. I hope that makes sense. So I only wanted to uh, the outline to stand out. And uh, for this card, I didn't want it to be so busy, so I was only going to kiss and stamp two images. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm kissing the two smaller feathers that I have, once again with that exact same tweet pattern, Hero Art stamp. And once again, I'm using the uh, Espresso uh, Brown ink from Clear Snap, a pigment ink. And uh, like my previous card, I'm going to stamp the same pattern, the thank you pattern on this card. And I'm just moving the washi tape down to the bottom and I'm taping the card in place so that it doesn't move. And that my, uh, to make sure that my stamped sentiment is perfect, that's why I'm taping the card. I always do that, you know, I find it helps with the stamping and helps making helps to make everything nice and straight. So I added some jams and that finished up my second card. Now I have an image of other feathers here of my other experiments that I wanted to show you. So feather number one is a solid stamped image. Feather number two and number 2.1 is a variation of that kissing technique. So what I have here is an inked a feather stamp, which was then pressed onto a clear background stamp. I'm sure you can notice uh, a barely visible uh, pattern there. Now, stamp number three and 3.1 is the transfer from that solid stamp that was left over on the uh, background stamp. So that's that. And then stamp number four is the technique I showed you today, just with a different background stamp. That one is also from Hero Arts, but uh, it's it also created a really nice um, touch. So uh, this is all for today, and I really hope that you liked my card and uh, that you will give this kissing technique a try. It's nothing new; it's been there for a while, but I just thought I'd remind you guys about it and you know uh, show you my take on it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Please be sure to watch some other videos on my channel. Thank you.